गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल यस्टरडे आई वेंट टू पहाड़गंज एंड समहाउ आई लॉस्ट माय इंट्रो वीडियो एंड आई डोंट नॉट नो हाउ दैट्स माय स्टुपिडिटी आई एम सॉरी फॉर दैट बट या आई एम शूटिंग माय इंट्रो वंस अगेन सो वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई रियली होप दैट यू गाइस लाइक टुडेस वीडियो इट वाज काइंड ऑफ व्लॉग बट आई कुड नॉट यू नो कंप्लीट इट बिकॉज़ ऑफ द इंट्रो बट You might like it. I just hope that this video helps you a lot, and you guys like it. And make sure if you like it, then make sure you just like the video. And I also, you know, showed um, you know what I was wearing yesterday. But as I lost my intro, so I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing today. So that's kind of you know fulfillment of the first. clip which i lost so i got down at rk ashram mark uh, metro and uh, that was a blue line just just before you know the rajiv chak metro station and uh, i have said a lot about you know uh, pahadganj market in the last clip of the video i gave my verdict so i really hope that you guys watch till the end to know everything about pahadganj market and um, that's about it so now i'm going to show you guys what i wore today so yay So um I really hope that you guys like my new haircut. Yeah, this is from No Salo. This is DIY at home. I thought of shooting my haircut but I was scared what if I goes what if it goes wrong and I have to rush to the parlor. So I didn't but next time I'm definitely going to shoot it on you know on camera and then show it to you guys. And another thing that uh, now I'm going to show you the outfit which I'm wearing. So this is a very nice flannel shirt flannel shirt from Lilu and Sky. a uh, full sleeve spaghetti or uh, not spaghetti full sleeve you know inner sort of thing uh, i don't remember from where it is it is from mintra i guess uh, my pants my pants are from deal jeans like my jeans and uh, the footwear you will see right now is i bought from pahadganj yeah i bought this from pahadganj and you will be seeing a vlog and you will be see this in the haul so wait for that and i really hope that you guys like the video and stay tuned and stay till the end and watch till the end Oh my god. Yeah, I like myself today. <laughs> So I finally reached uh, Pahadganj. Okay, I'm just you know getting the stairs off here and uh, just gonna see. Oh my god, I hate the lighting right now. Yeah, it's very fine. So I'm just gonna see what's there in the market, and I'm gonna take you guys along. So stay excited and stay. So I did my first buy, and I'm just gonna show it to you in the very last of the video, the whole time. So wait for it. They generally do not allow to shoot in the stores. I don't know for what reason, for any whatsoever reason, but yeah, they do not allow to shoot in your to shoot, shoot in the store. But yeah, I just went to this very crazy store right now. It was really great. They had some copper and brass jewelry. It was very beautiful. So here I go with my second buy, and I'm super excited to show you this, guys. This is so great. It's super inexpensive. Finally done with the market. I have my own verdict about this market. So I just bought like three items from here because I'll tell you why. I'll tell you when I'll give I'll give you my verdict. Right now I'm just heading home so where I can sit and talk to you guys about the market. So bye. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I really hope that you guys are doing great. Um okay. So uh basically what happened that I actually was having a really bad headache yesterday. bad headache day so i could not shoot my verdict for you guys about bahar ganj yesterday so i planned it to do today and i somehow also lost my intro clip so i had to shoot another and put it in this video you must have seen in the very beginning of the video so i'm really sorry for that the first thing i would like to tell you guys about is bahar ganj market is that never get down at gate number 1 exit because it's a bit long always take gate number 2 exit for more convenience and more convenient way to uh, get to the main market because it's pretty long gate number 1 is pretty long and gate number 2 is like you just get down take like 15 to 20 steps and you're already there so you're not supposed to take gate number 1 just because it says towards bahar ganj The second thing I would like to tell you guys about Pahar Ganj that Pahar Ganj main market is one kilometer long market, so obviously you have to walk a little bit a lot to explore everything out there. 
the moment i entered into the market i saw some crazy stores of super shiny clothes i my pers- my personal choice would never be those clothes because i don't wear something over the top i like experimenting but in a very subtle way with in a very subtle look uh, not so loud uh, i would say and those clothes were super loud as you must have been seen in the clip right now okay and if you are like looking forward to have a great you know evening gown or anything as a very fancy party or event you can definitely go and check it out because they might be like super inexpensive i did not go inside and i did not check the price as parganj market is the completely nearby like janpat market almost in central delhi so you would be able to find a lot of gujarati stuff like gujarati umbrellas gujarati bags gujarati footwear gujarati clothes and they are pretty beautiful but i did not buy them because of See, I was completely not in need of them. So yeah, but if you really like those clothes, then you can definitely go there. They had some amazing Gujarati bags with mirror works and everything. It was incredibly amazing. I must say that Pahargan is full of those shops who has incredible jewelry, be it dainty, be it beads, be it huge stone uh, work jewelry. They have amazing jewelry, so you should definitely go and check out their jewelry, and you might end up buying so many of them. They are super addictive. They look super addictive, and they are super beautiful. And trust me on this. Um, I found some really cool bags, and one of them was this steel bag. Yeah, I don't know whether it was a real steel or what, or it was just looking like steel. But you know what? It was really, really stiff and tough, and just the way steel is all about. It was. I just managed to take a very small clip, which is very stupid, just to show you how that steel bag was. And if you guys like it, it's super, super, super fashionable. And you might, you know, if you have to like go experimenting, if you're super experimenting and you really like, you know, new stuff and really super trendy stuff, you can definitely buy that. Next thing I noticed, obviously, as you all know, Bahargan is a total hippie market full of foreigners. wearing hippie clothes and hippie lifestyle i found a lot of hippie stores like not hippie stores but stores full of hippie stuff so if you like if you like hippie stuff say like clothing hippie bags hippie uh, you know jewelry then make sure you go there because they have crazy amount of hippie stuff the second best thing mentioning the first best thing was for me jewelry the second best thing i found in the market was the home decor stuff oh my god i have to say this that the home decor of paharganj was super inexpensive like they were giving amazing wall danglers just for 200 bucks like throw away price but i and i'm like super excited and super happy that i got to see some crazy home decor stuff because I'm soon going to change my, uh, you know, place, my house, and I'm going to shift to a new place, and I might have to, you know, redecorate the house completely. So, um, I would like to some, you know, I would like, I would like to buy some inexpensive home decor stuff because obviously, I'm, uh, you know, I'm into a process of making my whole new studio. So yeah, uh, in the market a lot the footwear stores. So they were like super basic, but yeah, super, you know, super tough and super comfortable footwear. I bought one uh, like one pair of footwear for myself, which I'm going to show you in the last segment. That's gonna be like the haul segment. So I found super amazing footwear in the market, and you should definitely go there for the home decor and for the jewelry. And for the bags and the footwear, damn, the bags in the market are crazy. Animal print is trending, and if you are not able to get great bags, inexpensive animal animal print bags, you have to go to Baharaj. Damn, it's just three fifty, four fifty, throw away price for animal print bags. It's super, super, super amazing. I found a lot of statement belts in the market. It was amazing. I bought one for myself, which I'm going to show it to you guys soon. And you know what? Best and the most trendiest thing I found in the market was the bags and you know the the belts. Okay, so there were a lot of shops, you know, uh, who were selling you know bags and belts together. And the bags were like you know of different leather. They also had PU and synthetic. They had sheep leather. Uh, they had uh, buffalo leather. So the conclusion of my verdict for Pahar Ganj is that if anyone has got like my taste or someone who's in love with you know bags and footwear, you should definitely go to Pahar Ganj. specifically for bags belts dainty jewelry 
home decor and footwear they are amazing there it's whole time guys okay the first item i bought from there is this belt okay yeah you're able to see that i hope so so this is a snake skin print and it is like kind of burgundy and black mix so i love it a lot and i got this for rupees you know he was asking me to give uh, 450 but i gave him i bargained and i've just got him down till 300 and i'm pretty happy because you know the material and everything and you know i wanted something animal print and i got myself something like that and i'm pretty happy because it might go with all of my like most of my outfits so i'm pretty happy with this belt the second item i bought from there are these beautiful pair of earrings just can you see how beautiful the feather is looking so you just have to insert it this way and you know what you're good to go it's super convenient and super beautiful for me and you cannot even guess the price it was just for a piece 50 guys like Yes, it's just for rupees fifty. So I loved it. I loved it. The third and the last item I got from there are these pair of basic slippers, like not slippers, sandals. So, so these have like elasticated bands over here, and it fits. It like it literally hugs my feet. So I love the power of that. And it was just for rupees two fifty. And the quality is super comfortable and quality is super great. So I couldn't resist. and i bought it so i think it's a nice buy what do you guys think and you'll be getting a lot of a lot of nice footwear you know trendy footwear in bahagal market so make sure you go and check it out i really hope that you guys found this video helpful and it somehow helped you guys and i really hope that you guys like this video if you liked it then make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you didn't like then make sure you give it a thumbs down to the video make sure you comment down below your views on the video or you can let me know what you want me to do next and where you want me to go next and uh, i really want you guys to subscribe to my channel because 67% are the people who are just watching my videos but not subscribing so i would love if you subscribe to my channel and uh, make sure you share as much as you can because this could be a helpful thing because pahari ganj is still somewhere new place so many people have been there but somehow it's still new for so many different people so thank you so much for watching the video bye guys and see you soon